guys, it's Krista and today I'm going to be doing a story time about why I haven't been uploading. I'm going to update you guys on a bunch of stuff. But this is about how I failed my driving test, not once, but twice. I took my driving test three times actually. So the first time I took my driving test, I had been waiting and waiting and waiting for a drive time to become available so I can go take a road test. You can either take it at the DMV or you can take it at like a driving school and then go get your license at the DMV. So I did that because everything was booked for like three months and I really need my license. So I booked one at my driving school. So the driving school was $70 for the test and before I even left the house I realized that I had forgotten a paper that they had given to me um, on my last like drive time the practice ones um, so I was like freaking out we got there and I was like is there any chance I can get another one like a replacement anything they're like yeah it's just $25 but whatever good we paid it got the paper went and took my test so we're just driving down the road, everything's doing fine, you know, and then he goes, what's your, um, what's the speed limit here? And I was like, it's 35. He's like, how fast are you going? And I was going like 37 and on, um, the little like speedometer, um, the car I took it in, it had, uh, like, it's not marked by ones or fives, it's marked by twos. What kind of car is marked by twos? And I actually didn't even know that until after my test, but that's all right, you know? So then he just like, you know, kept quiet and kept like doing the whole test, you know, turn right here, go left here, go through here, whatever. We get back to the driving school and he goes, well, unfortunately you failed yourself. You were going 40 and a 35 and I was like, I was not going 40, number one, and number two, like, I thought he was kidding. I for real thought he was kidding for a second, and so I was just, like, waiting for him to be, like, you know, kidding, you know, it's all right, but he didn't, and we got back in there, and they were, and my stepmom was like, oh, how'd you do, and I was like, I failed, because I was going, like, two over the speed limit. He goes, she was speeding, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, got it. I get it. So I was really, really, really upset that I did not pass because I am a good driver. Like, I'm a really good driver. I just, you know, it wasn't like I was, like, way over the speed limit or anything. It was by two, and then right after I was, like, slowing down. So I was watching my speed and everything. Uh, then we scheduled, we, like, um looked everywhere like everywhere so we ended up finding a place that's like an hour and a half away from where I live and they do like there it's a really small town not many people go to this one and we got there you know there was like 10 people in there nobody was like there was nobody there so I was like cool I'm gonna get in get out I'm gonna get my license today whatever we did all the stuff paid for it it was like 12 bucks, 11 bucks, something like that. I get in the car, I do my test, parallel park. I'm driving around and there's like a roundabout and she's like, oh, go down Charles Street. And like, obviously I can read street signs, but she was like, go straight and then go down Charles Street. Obviously I can't go straight in a roundabout. So I was a little confused and I obviously have never been there before the middle of nowhere so I didn't know anything around there I you know I'm going I was like oh this one and then I turned down it and their roads are really poorly marked like their lanes aren't really marked at all she was like oh turn left at the stop sign I honestly don't know what I was thinking like I get really nervous when other people are like hardcore judging me like I have to do something in order to pass like I'm a good driver but like I get so nervous about stuff and yeah uh, I I did not get in the left lane I stayed in the right but you couldn't tell that it was like a two-lane road 
It just looked like a one lane road. So yeah, um, I stayed in the right lane and then I almost turned left and I had my blinker on and everything and she was like, actually turn right. So I did. And then we went back to the driving school and she was like, do you want to know why I brought you back here? I was like, obviously, duh. And she's like, you're supposed to get in the left lane. I even said, like, I pointed and I was like, and at the beginning of our test, she, like, at the beginning of my test, she was in my car and she, uh, I specifically turned off the radio so I wouldn't get distracted, it wouldn't come on, or whatever. And when my radio's off, it says audio off. And she was like, I hear music. And I was like, my radio's off, um, my phone's off, nothing else is in the car. And I was like, I don't know, like, what it could be. And she's like, okay, well, all right. Then she like as I'm about to start my test she's like you don't hear that and I was like no I literally hear nothing there's no music playing and she's like okay so I think she was like oh no. but whatever so I get back I failed again and I was really upset she gave me a paper and she's like you can retest it next week and I was like, all right, I really need this test because if I don't, then like, I'm not gonna get my license before school starts. And that's another story, school starting, because I told y'all in my last video I was going to be starting school August 21st. So far that hasn't happened, so. Anyways, so I get another test on August 3rd, I think it was. I get there I didn't tell anyone I actually didn't tell anyone I had this test except for like my parents knew because I wasn't gonna be like oh yeah I failed three times that wasn't gonna happen to me I wasn't gonna be that girl so yeah I I got there checked in whatever we didn't have to pay this time because it was like a retest I guess I don't know I drove around the area again before like I like went in because I wanted to make sure I like knew everything i saw what signs i saw i saw the speed limits everywhere i did everything i so <laughs> i've tried to prepare myself as much as possible i did not want to fail three times because that'd just be horrible i get in the car parallel parallel park i do the whole test and we're going back and i was like oh like oh, i think i did it and she goes you you passed you did so good blah. and I was like ah yes girl and I get out the car my dad's waiting outside and I was like we got it we did it third time is a charm yes and then after that I didn't tell my boyfriend or anything and I went to his house I drove there after all by myself like a grown woman and I picked him up and he was like wait what and I, he's like did you drive here and I was like yep I got my license <laughs> and then you know went to the mall what else did we do I don't know to be honest that is my story time today guys that I it just when when I kept failing and I knew I was good like it was just stupid mistakes you know it made me feel really bad so so I just I just didn't feel motivated to do anything and now I'm trying to get back on track but now there's my life is not getting any better I plan on having a thrift haul or lookbook coming up soon cross your fingers guys I'm going to give you guys a quick sneak peek at my current thrift finds. Yep. I might do another try on haul for that. There's not like as many pieces as um my as my back to school haul. Guys, I deeply apologize for this video. It's kind of been a mess, but my brain has been all over the place, so I'm extremely sorry. I'm going to end the video on that note. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't upload for a while, but I plan on making at least one video a week now. I'm trying to stick to it.
we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh.